me better. Fuck people who wear sandals. Fuck people who wear cargo shorts. Fuck people who listen to indie music. Fuck people who listen to blog house music. Fuck people who listen to mainstream music. Fuck people who listen to country music and rap music. Fuck people from the country who have a country accent and like yeah. things like having sex and drinking beer and working on farms yes. and stuff like that. Fuck the blue collar comedy tour. Fuck any sort of comedy tour. Fuck anything that gets popular. Fuck anything that is no longer authentic. Oh, Fuck can we talk about Pitchfork for a second? Stream. Also, Fuck. sexual character, what's your favorite fast food? There's something I'd like to address, which is, um... Dude, Pitchfork just covers BTS now. When did that happen? When... When did, uh, when did Pitchfork decide, or when, when did, uh, BTS become just, like, something that Pitchfork just, like, blogs about and, like, t tells you when they have a new song? And now they have an interview with them, and if you go to Pitchfork, it automatically loads and begins to play an interview they conducted with the K-pop band BTS. I can't believe it. How did that happen? Dude, you know what's fucked up? Is thinking what score are they going to give BTS the next time they release an album. Because I'm pretty sure the last time they talked about B like when they started talking about BTS was after probably they their latest release. Because I'm pretty sure I haven't like logged into Pitchfork and seen a BTS review. Oh, I'd love to hear what BTS thinks about whatever. About just anything. Um, are they just called BTS with no punctuation? Oh, they have reviewed four BTS albums. I guess we'll see what score they received on Pitchfork. I like the 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 tent of content on Pitchfork that's like uh beer their beer thing and they'll be like we had a beer with this buzz band we kicked back for some brewskis with this buzz band 7.1 for their first BTS review then a 6.1 for what looks like a remix album no never mind it's actually another album 4.6 as the soundtrack for their mobile app game. The most inessential BTS affiliated project. The gall of writing that sentence. Listen, even if you're a casual fan of BTS, you can afford to skip this particular release from this like app that like steals your data when you install it on your phone. You don't have to listen to this one. It's arguably the least essential of the stuff that this corporation has produced for you. Good Lord. Good Lord. We got, we got so drunk with car seat headrests that he stopped feeling self-conscious about having a fursuit and he put on his fursuit and he jacked off to furry porn. And then we left his apartment and went back to the Condé Nast headquarters. And uh, that's the headline. That's like the clickbait headline for that article about beer fork or whatever. I am going to close pitchfork.com. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely, I'm, yeah, I know that they're owned by Condé Nast. But I, I guess I'm kind of skeptical that that's like, really changed what they are is that is that naive of me i feel like pitchfork was on the trajectory that pitchfork was on and i feel like pitchfork would have been where it is now with or without being acquired by condé nast i mean they probably would have been acquired by something but i feel like this was just like the evolution of like this kind of thing like they were just you know in a strategic position 
and were able to like monetize themselves and sort of like convert themselves into like a respectable media company news outlet and stuff and just kind of transition into just like the new Rolling Stone or whatever. It's the internet Rolling Stone. I know that the Rolling Stone is also on the internet, but I wonder what kind of person goes to like rollingstone.com and like reads a review of something on rollingstone.com. There's probably people who do that. Are they like Gen X bros? Or what kind of person is that? Boomers? Do you think boomers go to Rolling Stone and read music reviews on Rolling Stone? Maybe I'm being naive here, but I feel like there's like an age of people where they stop like downloading new music. Gen X dads. Yeah, I think that's a good guess. All right, let me catch up on the chat because I'm behind and I was just rambling a lot. Ooh, I just had a really good movie idea. Can we please? Can someone please like put me in touch? Okay, here's my pitch. It's um, it's the Devil Wears Prada, but I'm the uh what's i'm like what's the meryl streep character called in devil wears prada i'm like her of pitchfork after they're purchased by conde nast i guess that's kind of like ian cohen or or like ryan schreiber so i'm like portraying like a ryan schreiber type figure except it's like instead of ryan schreiber it's um miranda Presley. Priestly. I think it's Priestly. But thank you. I accept, with some criticism, I accept your input. Um, so yeah, that's my pitch. Like, I would love to have, like, an original... I feel like that would be a good thing for my career trajectory right now. 